UFC Fight Night, Moicano vs. Saint-Denis, also billed as UFC Paris, took place on September 28th in front of a packed Accor Arena in Paris, France. The event brought in $4 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? International commissions typically do not disclose fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projections based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the main card, Matt Frivola scored a takedown in the first round against his opponent Ferez Ziem and locked in a scary guillotine from Mount. Ziem was able to slip out and once back on the feet, landed heavy blows that shifted the momentum in his favor. In the second, Ziem's striking looked sharper and he used his range to connect with the stinging shots whose impact was evident on Frivola's face. The final round started out wrestling heavy, but midway through, Ziem landed a massive knee to Frivola's jaw, knocking him out cold and delivering Ferez Ziem a sensational knockout finish. Frivola made $55,000 to show, and $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, for a total of $66,000. While ZM brought in $40,000 to show, and another $40,000 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship, along with a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, and $136,000 on the night. Gabrielle Miranda and Morgan Cherrier got off to a back and forth start to their lightweight bout. Cherrier's takedown defense proved effective as he denied Miranda opportunities to take the fight to the ground. Miranda started the second round aggressively, landing a solid leg kick that dropped Cherrier down to one knee. But moments later, Cherrier returned fire with a left hand directly to Miranda's jaw, dropping him to the canvas and handing Morgan Cherrier the TKO victory. Miranda earned $12,000 to show and $4,000 in sponsorship and took home $16,000. While Cherrier also made $12,000 to show on his rookie contract and another $12,000 for the win, $4,000 in Venom sponsorship along with a $50,000 performance of the night bonus and a total of $78,000. The third fight saw another second round finish as welterweight Brian Battle was too much for the Frenchman Kevin Jusset. The first round started clinch heavy, but both men caused damage in the times they separated. The fight opened up in the second as the two traded blows, with Battle maintaining the greater output. With about a minute left, he connected with several strikes in a long combination that wobbled Jusset and continued to unload on him against the cage until the fight was stopped, extending Battle's unbeaten streak to four fights and giving him the TKO win. Jusse took in $14,000 to show and $4,000 in sponsorship, totaling $18,000. While Battle would earn $65,000 to show and $65,000 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship pay, along with a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, for a total of $186,000. In the fourth fight, featherweight William Gomez stifled Joe Anderson Brito's fast-paced fight style by controlling him on the ground for a chunk of the opening round. The fight opened up in the final 30 seconds as both men unloaded looping shots and Brito managed to lock in a guillotine as time expired. The second round was a complete reversal as Brito controlled from the top, threatening with a choke attempt, causing Gomez to repeatedly have to indicate to the referee that he was alright. The final frame did manage to play out primarily on the feet and capped an incredibly close fight. When the scorecards were red, it came down as a split decision victory for William Gomez. Brito earned $40,000 to show and $6,000 in sponsorship and took home $46,000. While William Gomez brought in $26,000 to show and another $26,000 for the win, $4,500 in sponsorship, taking his total to $56,500. In the co-main event, middleweight contender Brendan Allen almost immediately scored a takedown on his opponent Nazardin Amavov, and while he maintained control for the majority of the round, he didn't take advantage of the position to cause much damage. Imavov's takedown defense held up better in the second as he stuffed multiple attempts and found himself in top position where he was much more active than Allen, delivering ground strikes and positioning for submission attempts. In the final round, the momentum continued its swing in Imavov's direction as Allen's takedown attempts proved less and less effective. Imavov looked better on the feet, and while Allen fired back, the sniper closed out the round as the sharper and fresher striker, resulting in a unanimous decision victory. Prior to the fight, Allen clarified the financial incentives behind being part of a main event. I like money, extra money um, for five rounds is always nice. Plus, uh, more than that, it was a business move, and um, I feel like when you're this close to a belt, you should just be proving yourself and furthering your 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 argument for a title shot. Three rounds, five rounds. Does that mean you get paid like there's a ratio, forty percent more if you go further? No, you get like twenty-five more. Okay, fair enough. 
um yeah normally for main events or five round fights they're, they're actually two rounds at this level it's, it's a big difference Allen earned $92,000 to show and 11000 in sponsorship for $103,000 on the night. Wiley Mavov made $66,000 to show and another sixty-six dollars for the win, $6,000 in Venom sponsorship, and left with $138,000. If you're enjoying the content and want to keep up with all the latest videos, take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Only 7% of the people watching this video are subscribers, but you can change that and help to grow the channel in the process. And finally, the main event of the evening, Hanato Moikano dominated the opening round, scoring a takedown almost immediately, and delivering massive ground and pound damage to Benoit Saint-Denis. At one point, Moikano transitioned to mount, dropping slicing elbows that opened up a cut over Saint-Denis' right eye. Benoit managed to survive, but wore the damage all over his face as the second round began, leaving his eye nearly swollen shut. Blood streaming down his face, he surprisingly held his own on the feet, likely winning the second round. Unfortunately, the ringside doctor was brought in after the round ended and against Sandini's protest, the fight was called and Hanato Moikano would take the doctor stoppage TKO win. Sandini made $50,000 to show and based on Allen's intel, an additional 25% bonus for another $12,500, $6,000 in sponsorship pay for a total of $68,500. And Hanato Moikano took home $130,000 to show and another $130,000 for the win, a $65,000 main event bonus, along with $16,000 in sponsorship for $341,000 on the night. That's all for this episode. Any corrections to the numbers I've shown will be listed in a pinned comment below. As always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC 307 Pajeda vs. Roundtree.